इलेक्ट्रिक एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड चैप्टर मोशन ऑफ चार्ज पार्टिकल्स इन इलेक्ट्रिक एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ओके चार्ज पार्टिक पार्टिकल्स लाइक इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटॉन्स आर नाइट एटम एंड समाइम्स बियर न्यूक्लियाई आर सेट इनटू मोशन अंडर द एक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आइदर म्यूचुअली परपेंडिकुलर एंड पैरल मोशन ऑफ दिज चार्ज पार्टिकल्स आर फर्स्ट द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पार्टिकल्स डायनेमिक्स एज एज लाइट इन क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स ओके दे आर कंसीडर्ड एज टीनी लम्प्स ऑफ मैटर अप्रोक्सीमेटिंग वेरी क्लोजली टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्वाइंट मास विच एलाउज और टू रेस्ट्रिक्ट द एनर्जी अकाउंट टू ट्रांसलेशनल काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ द पार्टिकल माइक्रोस्कोपिक इलेक्ट्रिक एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आर इम्प्लाइड टू सब्जेक्ट द पार्टिकल्स टू डिजायर्ड फोर्सेस एंड टू ऑप्टेन पर ऑप्टेन प्रेडिक्टेबल ट्राजेक्ट्रीज कवरिंग मिजरेबल डिस्टेंसेस दीज फोर्सेस आर सफिशियंटली लार्ज एनफ टू डोमिनेट द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स मोर रिवर्स द पार्टिकल ट्राजेक्टरीज यूजली पैराबोलिक आर कन्फाइंड टू इवाकुएटेड इनक्लोजर शो दैट द पार्टिकल्स पाथ आर नॉट डिस्टॉर्टेड डिस्टॉर्टेड बाई कोलिजन विथ एटमोस्फियरिक गैस मालिक्यूल दिस एंश्योर्स द ऑन ऑन इंटरप्टेड ट्रेवल ऑफ द पार्टिकल ओवर द मेजरेबल डिस्टेंस द ट्राजेक्ट्री ऑफ द पाथ ट्रेस्ड कैन बी एनालाइज बाई द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द लॉ ऑफ क्लासिकल न्यूट्रोनियन मैकेनिक्स ओके इन दिस चैप्टर इन दिस चैप्टर द फर्स्ट हेडिंग ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एज एन एसिलेटिंग फील्ड ओके इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ई एज एन एसिलेटिंग फील्ड एसिलेटिंग 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 फील्ड एसिलेटिंग फील्ड ओके फर्स्ट हेडिंग ऑफ दिस चैप्टर ओके दिस इज पॉजिटिव चार्ज प्लेट ए पॉजिटिव चार्ज प्लेट ए ओके पॉजिटिव चार्ज प्लेट ए दिस इज पॉजिटिव चार्ज प्लेट ए ए एंड दिस इज नेगेटिव चार्ज प्लेट बी नेगेटिव चार्ज प्लेट बी ओके बी ओके नेगेटिव चार्ज प्लेट बी बी एंड द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ई ई फ्रॉम एट ए टू B, A to B, and the distance of between our plate A and B are D, and B are D, and this is negative charge E, and voltage difference B two and V1, V2 minus V1. Okay. Let us uh, consider the motion of an electron. Let us consider the motion of an electron parallel to an uniform electric field E. Parallel to an uniform electric field E. For this, consider two plane uh, parallel metal plate A. Parallel metal plate A and B separated by a small distance D. And uh, insulated from each other. Uh, if a DC voltage source is connected between the plates, if a DC voltage source is connected between the plates, the plates are charged positively, and an electric field is produced in the region between the plates. Okay. If the spacing uh, D is small. The electric field E will be fairly uniform, except near the edge. The electric field E is directed from the positive plate, directed from the positive plate A towards the negative plate B. Towards the negative plate B, if the potential difference between the plates A and B is uh, 
v a minus v b uh, equal to v the electric field strength e in the region will be uh, electric field electric field electric field strength electric field strength strength e in the region will be e equal to b by d okay equal to b by d if the space between the plate is evacuated if the space between the plate is evacuated and an electron of mass m an electron of mass m and charge e charge e is placed at rest at rest placed at rest between the plates and released the force experienced by an electron due to electric field will be f equal to minus e capital e capital vector e okay because f equal to q e charge into uh, electric field okay then uh, then uh, uh if the stress between the plates is evacuated an electric uh, electron of mass m and charge e is placed it rest between the plates and released the force experienced by an electron due to electric field will be f equal to minus e capital e minus e capital e minus e capital e the negative sign indicates that the force of f accelerates the electron in opposite direction of electric field opposite direction of electric field according to newton's second law of motion the acceleration is given by vector a equal to vector f by m where vector a equal to acceleration acceler acceleration 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 okay acceleration then vector a equal to minus small e capital e upon n since the parameter small e small e m and capital e are constant here the acceleration suffered by the electron is constant in the form this phenomena is very useful and has an application in the construction of a cathode ray oscilloscope in which an electron beam is accelerated by passing passing uh, beam uh, through an electric field okay since 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 the parameter since the parameter since the parameters since the parameters since the parameters small e m and capital e are constant here are constant here are constant here are constant here the acceleration suffered by the electron is constant the acceleration acceleration the acceleration suffered the acceleration suffered the parameter e m and uh, e are constant here the acceleration supported by the electron is constant electron is constant constant electron is constant okay constant okay uh, is that we form is that we form this uh, phenomenon is very useful and has an application in the construction of a cathode ray oscilloscope CRO in which an electron beam uh, is uh, accelerated by passing the beam through an electric field okay next study path described by electron in electric field okay path described by electron in electric field past this path uh, described by electron in electric field okay suppose a beam of electron suppose a 
beam of electron, each of mass m and carrying a negative charge minus e, is entering the uniform electric field E. Is entering the uniform electric field E at point O. At point O. At point O with the velocity small b in a horizontal direction. In a with the small um, with the velocity small b in a horizontal direction. The electric field is directed from plus B E plus B E plate A to minus B E plate B minus B E plate B acting right angles to V acting right angles to V the electric force acting on the electron is given by the electric field the electric the electric field electric field the electric field sorry electric force the electric force acting on the electron acting on the electron acting on the electron is given by is given by f equal to small e capital e in magnitude in magnitude magnitude okay the force is acting in vertically the force is acting in vertically upward direction vertically upward direction towards the position plate a towards the position plate a the upward acceleration a y acquired by the electron will be a y is f by m is a small e capital e by small m. This is equation number four. Where a y where a y acceleration acquired the letter upward acceleration upward 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 acceleration upward acceleration. Okay. For the vertical motion, the initial upward velocity zero. For the vertical, for the vertical motion, vertical motion, for the vertical motion, the initial, the initial upward velocity, upward, upward velo. Velocity, upward velocity is zero. At time t, the vertical displacement y is given by at time t, the vertical, the vertical, the vertical displacement, the vertical displacement, the vertical displacement uh, y. Is given by y is given by zero multiplied t plus half a y t square. That is one by two small e capital e upon m into t square. Okay, okay. This is the equation number second. This is the equation number second. And uh, this is the equation number first. Okay. In the horizontal direction, no force x on the electron entering the electric field. There is uh, in the electric field the horizontal velocity v is constant along O to x. Along O to x. Along O to x. Okay. Or along O to x. In the horizontal direction, no force x on the electron entering the electric field. Therefore, in the electric field, the horizontal velocity v is constant along O x, and the horizontal displacement x at time t is given by horizontal displacement, horizontal, horizontal, 
displacement horizontal displacement x equal to v small t r t equal to x y v this is the equation number third so just using 40 in equation number second we have y equal to small e capital e upon 2 mv square into x square this is equation number 4 okay equation number 4 so that path of the electron beam in the electric field is a parabola symmetrical about the y axis uh equation 4 equation 4 so that shows so that uh, equation for so that the electron beam in the electric field the electron beam the electron beam in the electric field electric field the electron beam in the electric field okay the electron beam in the electric field the electron beam in the electric field is a parabola symmetrical field is a parabola 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 symmetrical parabola symmetrical parabola symmetrical symmetrical parabola symmetrical about the y axis about the y axis about the y axis the beam describe the path of oc which is a parabolic in nature when the electron emerges out from the electric field where when the electron when the electron when the electron emerges out from the electric field emerges out emerges out from from the electric field from the electric field from the electric field it travels it travels it travels along a straight line along it travels along a straight line or a straight line or a straight line along a straight line cp cp tangential to the parabola cp tangential tangential to the parabola to the parabola tangential to the parabola at the exit point at the exit point exit point C. Parabola at the exit point C. Okay, exit point C. Exit point C. Next one is discharge tube. Discharge tube. Discharge tube. Discharge tube. Discharge tube. Okay. Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday in 1836 Michael Faraday in 1836 on the basis of the experiment conducted on electrolysis concluded that there must be some kind of elementary electric charge in in 1991 in 1990 One in 1991, and uh, uh, electric charge in 1991. Stony, 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 GJ Stony, GJ Stony in uh, 1832 to 1990. English uh, British English. Physics discovered the phenomena of cathode ray and suggested in 1897. 1890, sorry, 
29. The, the rays consist of streams of negatively charged particles in 1871. In 1871. In 1897. 1897. J.J. Thompson confirmed. J.J. Thompson. J.J. Thompson. Confirm that all these uh, particles are alike and call them electrons. He further determine, determine, determined the ratio of the charge E of the electron to its mass M. E by M by using a specially designed discharge tube. Okay? Okay? Uh, Michael Faraday in 1836 on the basis of the experiment conducted mm -hmm. on uh, electrolysis concluded that there must be some kinds of uh, elementary electric charge. In 1891, G.J. Stoney, 1826 to 1911, uh, gave uh, the name electron to the elementary electric charge, Sir William Crookes. 1832 to 1919, English physicist discovered the phenomenon of cathode rays and the celestial in 1879 that the rays consist of streams of negatively charged particles. 1897, J.J. Thompson confirmed that these particles are alike and called then electrons he further determined the ratio of the charge electron of the electron to the issue mass m e by m by using a specially designed discharge tube okay construction 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 okay construction construction it is about 30 cm long and 2 to 3 cm in diameter. One minute. Construction. It is about 30 m long. 30 m long. Sorry, 30 centimeter long. 30 centimeter long. It is about 30 centimeter long. 30 centimeter long. And uh, diameter 2 to 3 centimeter. 2 to 3 centimeter. Okay. It has uh, two planes. It has two plane aluminium electrodes. It has two plane aluminium Electrodes, aluminium electrodes, the anode A and cathode K, the anode A and cathode K, anode A and cathode K, it is provided with a side tube which is connected to a pressure gauge. It is connected to a pressure gauge G and vacuum pump P and vacuum pump P and vacuum pump P. Through a stack cut S, through a stack cut S, the pressure of the enclosed gas can be continuously decreased by the pump. Okay? The pressure gauge measures the pressure and desired pressure can be maintained constant by using the stop cock. Okay? The anode and the cathode are connected respectively to a positive and negative terminal. Positive and negative terminal of the secondary of an induction coil. An induction coil is an uh, apart, uh, operator which produces an information unidirectional high potential difference across its secondary coil. Her discharge tube of about 30 meter long, 30 centimeter long, a potential difference of about uh, 6,000 uh, 6, volt to 15,000 volt. 
between its uh, electrodes. Between its electrodes uh, is sufficient for studying the conduction of electricity through the enclosed gas at low pressure. J.J. Thompson in a, his famous operators in order to determine E by M, E by M in order to determine E by M used a highly evacuated glass in the loop uh, eliminate the collision of electrons, okay, generated by the cathode, generated by the cathode with air molecules. The two electrodes, cathode and anode, cathode and anode are provided in the left of the tube as shown in figure, okay? Okay? Uh, and uh, a high potential difference applied between the cathode and anode. Cathode and anode. Cathode and anode A. Causes emission of electron from the surface of the cathode. Emission of electron. And emission of electron. Emission of electron. Uh, electron. Emission of uh, electron. A uh, high potential difference applied between the cathode C and anode causes emission of electron from the surface of the end cathode. These electrons are accelerate, accelerated and uh, collimated by the slides uh, A1, A2, by the slides A1, A2 into a narrow parallel beam. This electron pencil beam is further subjected to electric field and magnetic field and magnetic slides A1, slits A1 and A2 into a narrow parallel beam. This electron pencil beam is further subjected to electric field and magnetic field, electric field and magnetic field so as to produce a glow on the screen produced by a pair of deflecting plates suitable arrangement is made to apply a fairly uniform magnetic field in the same region finally. The electron beam strikes on the fluorescent screen on the opposite side and produces a bright spot. Okay? Thanks. Next heading, next heading, electron gun. Okay? Next heading, electron gun. What is electron gun? <laughs> An electron gun is a device which uh, produces a narrow beam, also called a pencil beam, of high intensity. It was first designed by V.K. Jawakin in 1933. Okay? An electron gun is a device. An electron, an electron gun is a device. Is a device. An electron gun is a device which produces a narrow beam, which produces which produces a narrow beam, a narrow beam, which produces a narrow beam, beam also called a pencil, also called, also called as pencil, also called as pencil beam, pencil beam of high intensity, of high, high intensity, City high intensity. It was first designed by it was first first designed by designed by it was first designed by designed by V K V K Joachim V K Varikim in uh, nineteen thirty. Three, okay? Principal. Principal. The electron gun makes use of the fact that a non-uniform electric field causes bending of electron paths. Thus, a stream of electrons experiences a charge in direction of motion when it travels through a non-uniform electric field. 
its path is bent at each equal potential such as in the same way as a light ray is bent at an optical boundary. This leads to the focusing of electrons. Focusing of electrons and the arrangement is called as an electrostatic lens or uh, electron lens. Okay? Two coaxial cylinder, uh, A1 and A2 at a different uh, position, potential forms uh, or electron focusing device and is called an electron lens system. Electron lens system. Okay? Electron lens system. Okay? One minute. Principle. The electron gun makes use of the fact that a non-uniform electric field causes bending of electrons path the so, or stream of electrons experiences a change in direction of motion when it travels through a non-uniform electric field its path is bent at uh, each equipotential surface okay in the same way as a light ray is bent at an optical boundary this leads to the focusing of electrons and the arrangement is called as an electrostatic lens or electron lens. Two coaxial cylinders and it's A1 and A2. Two coaxial cylinders and it's A1 and A2. Two coaxial cylinders and it's A1 and A2 at different positive potential form or electron focusing device and is called an electron lens system construction. The systematic diagram of an electron gun is you can show this uh, diagram the electron gun consists of a cathode k the electron gun consists of a cathode k, k of filament heater f of filament heater f of control grid g at control grid g and a two anode a1 and a2 and two anode a1 and a2 the cathode k is a short hollow nickel cylinder the cathode a is a short hollow nickel cylinder nickel cylinder and uh, encloses the filament of heater F and encloses the filament of heater F the front face face of the cathode is coated with a thorated tungsten arbarium and is, uh, is strontium oxides the coating helps Harmonic emission of uh, electrons to occur at a uh, moderate temperature about uh, 700 to 900 degrees Celsius. 700 to 900 degrees Celsius. The cathode is surrounded by the control grid G. The cathode is surrounded by the control grid G, which also is a hollow metal cylinder with a uh, small uh, central aperture in uh, its uh, front face to allow electrons to pass through two more short metals or cylinders A1 and A2 short metal cylinders A1 and A2 with central aperture as uh, are uh, po poisoned um, coaxially beyond the control grid okay the entire assembly is held in evacuated space so that the electron path are not disturbed due to collisions with atmospheric molecules of power supply provided the necessary voltage to the electrodes working what is working when the power is turned on the filament heater when the power is turned on the filament heater heats up the cathode heats up the cathode at a temperature Characteristics of the cathode material electrons are emitted from its front surface and they pass through the control grid. The grid is held at a negative potential. The grid is held at a negative potential with respect to the cathode and controls the number of electrons passing through it. If the grid is held at a lesser negative potential a large number of electrons pass through it on the other hand if the grid is uh, held at a higher negative potential a smaller number of electrons pass through it thus, thus the grid 
with a negative potential on it act as a gate and regulates gate and regulates the passes of electron through it the anode a1 and a2 the anode a1 and a2 i a2 are held at positive potential the potential on a2 being greater than a1 the potential on a2 is being greater than potential on a1 potential on a1 the cathode the grid and the first anode a1 the cathode the cathode the grid and first anode a1 are held at positive potential the potential on a2 being greater than on a1 the cathode the grid and the first anode a1 constitute the first electron lens of the system it is known as a perfocusing lens known as prefocusing known as prefocusing lens prefocusing prefocusing lens prefocusing lens electron emitted from the cathode electron emitted from the cathode tend to diverge because they repel each other the convex equipotential surface bend the electron path towards the center axis consequently all electrons passing through the aperture in the control grid cover towards the point p is just inside the first anode the point p is located the point p is located on the axis of the gon uh, and uh, is known as the crossover point known as the crossover point this point is known as the crossover point the area of the point p would be very small compared to relatively larger cathode surfaces emitting the electrons therefore the electrons emerging from p can uh, can be easily focused to a fine point better than the electrons emerging from the cathode thus the role of the first lens is to convert the beam to the crossover point which then an act as a point surface point source of electrons for the second lens for the second lens the anode a1 and a2 the anode a1 and a2 form the second electron lens which draws electrons from the cross over point and bring the them to a fine focus the diaphragm d the diaphragm d in anode a1 uh, cuts up the wide angle electrons em emerging from p electrons emerging from p the focal point of the beam is controlled by adjusting the potential on a1 and a2 the optical analogy of electron gun is you can show okay application application the electron gun is used in a variety of applications it is used in cro to display wave shape in a tv to display pictures in an electron microscope to obtain the magnified magnified image and ebm and ewm for machining and welding jobs okay next study cathode ray oscilloscope cro cathode ray oscilloscope cathode ray oscilloscope cro okay